Hi, I'm Elaine Blickley from Horses for Clean Water, which is a program that teaches about environmentally sensitive horse keeping practices. In other words, ways to take care of your horses that's going to be good for the horses as well as good for the land. Because this is a short video, we'll just cover the high points. At the end will be a website address where you can go to find a lot more detailed information. Today we're at a horse farm in beautiful Bridal Trails, Washington. One of the things that we start with is manure management. And that's because horses produce a lot of manure, about 50 pounds a day. One of my favorite ways of managing manure is to compost it. So that would be picking up manure on a regular basis and putting it in a compost pile. Composting is wonderful. It kills bad things that can cause disease. Plus, composting will shrink your manure pile in half. And it creates a valuable, rich soil amendment. You need to choose a high and dry location for your manure pile and cover the pile so rain won't wash it into local streams and pollute the water. Bellevue has over 80 miles of streams and protecting water quality is important. We don't want horse manure or pet waste of any kind washing into our waterways. The sacrifice area is where you keep your horses in the winter time when your pastures are super saturated and soggy from rain and they're not growing. And it's also where you keep your horses in the summertime so that your pastures don't get overgrazed. We call it a sacrifice area because you're sacrificing it as grassy pasture for the sake of the rest of your pasture. And you recognize that grass isn't going to grow here and that you're going to have to do certain things to keep it from being muddy in the wintertime or dusty in the summertime. So this property has done a really nice job of managing mud and managing their paddocks. Most important thing is picking up manure on a regular basis. As we already said, horses produce about 50 pounds of manure a day. I recommend picking up manure at least every one to three days to help break that parasite reinfestation cycle. But the more frequently you can pick it up, the better it's going to be, the easier it's going to be for you, the less the manure gets ground into the footing. And then you're going to put that manure into your manure management program, which would either be composting it or hauling it off site. The next thing you want to do in your sacrifice area is have some kind of footing. There's many choices and options for footing, but basically your footing keeps the horses from eroding the soil away and it also helps with drainage. You want it to be a footing that's going to be beneficial for horses and safe for horses to stand on and also one that's going to be easy for picking up manure. The next thing you want to do is have gutters and downspouts. This is going to be important for reducing the amount of mud in your sacrifice area and making it more chore efficient for you. But environmentally, it's super important because you're going to be keeping clean rainwater clean and not allowing it to get contaminated with things like mud or manure. One other thing that could be done here is you could have something to protect this downspout so that the horse doesn't make it into an itching post and uh, smash up all of your hard work. Manure management is an important part of horse health as well as being environmentally sensitive. We already mentioned that horses produce about 50 pounds of manure a day, but there's different ways that we can manage the manure so that it's going to be more chore efficient for us. First of all, we want to clean stalls on a daily basis and I recommend sacrifice areas and paddocks picking up the manure at least every one to three days. In the stalls we can also reduce the amount of bedding that we use so that you don't have as much material to manage in your compost pile or hauling off however you choose to manage your manure. So if you're going to reduce the amount of bedding, you want to look at getting the most absorbent type of bedding that you can so that you don't have to use a lot of it. 
And also, you want to have stall mats, which they have here underneath. So rubber stall mats are great for chore efficiency. They make the job of picking up manure on a regular basis much easier to do in a stall. A pasture full of grass means less mud, less dust in the summer, and fewer weeds in the spring. Good pasture management is the best weed control. Healthy grass will prevent weeds from pushing their way in. Whenever possible, especially near waterways, avoid weed killers. These can be harmful to horses and very toxic to fish. The golden rule for pasture management is to never graze below three inches. The bottom three inches of a grass plant belongs to the grass. And then above that belongs to you as the pasture manager. But you need to remember that horses love that bottom three inches because it has the most amount of sugar in it. So you're going to have to be really careful to not let them graze below that three inch mark. The other thing to know about pastures is to not utilize them in the wintertime when your soils are super wet and saturated and the grass plants are dormant. So that's going to be approximately mid-October till about mid-March. And that's when you want to use your sacrifice area. Okay, that's it. I hope these tips were helpful for you. And there's more information available for you on the Horses for Clean Water website. That's www.horsesforcleanwater.com.